Okay, so pagkatapos natin pag-usapan ng perfect square numbers, pag-usapan naman natin ang squares and square roots. Okay? So, as a recap, so nabanggit na natin to last time, no? Um, nabanggit na natin yung tungkol sa pag sa exponent, okay? And sa base, no? So, pag sinabing exponent, this is a number used to show that a number is multiplied by itself one or more times, no po? So, kaya kahapon, or nung last natin na video, we have one Uh, halimbawa, nag-multiply tayo 1 times 1, ba? Diba? Sinulat natin siya as 1 squared. Okay? So, bakit? Kasi po, dalawang beses natin ginamit as factor yung 1. No? So, kapag squares ang ating pinag-uusapan or perfect square number, ang atin pong exponent lagi dyan ay 2. Kasi we multiply it by itself once. No? So, we have halimbawa, kagaya nung nasa example, 3 times 3. So, our base there is 3. And dahil dalawang beses natin ginamit yung 3 as factor, 3 times 3 is the same as 3 squared or 3 raised to the second power. Pero hindi lang to yung atin pong ma pwedeng maging exponents. So, ang exponents pwede pong um, magiging 3, maging 4, pwede rin siyang maging negative pwede rin siyang maging fraction, no? So, for now, we will focus with um, whole numbers as exponents. Okay, so, uh, let's say we have here 5 times 5 times 5, no? So, yung 5 times 5 times 5, no? Ang number na may multiply sa sarili ay yung 5. So, we just copy that one. And dahil tatlong beses natin siya ginamit as factor, our exponent will be 3. No. So, kung halimbawa meron tayong 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. If we were to write this in exponential form, we have 7 raised to the 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 7 to the 4th. So, again, itong 4 na ito, ito yung tinatawag na exponent exponent and yung 7 na yon ang tinatawag nating base now let's proceed with squaring a number no so pag sinabing we square a number ibig sabihin we raise it to the power of 2 o kaya naman we multiply it by itself no po so yan yung diniscuss natin last time kagaya ng uh, square of 1, square of 2, uh, 3 squared, or square of 4, or 4 squared, yan. No? So, yun yung diniscuss natin last time. So, kapag naman you get the square root, you find that number that when you multiply by itself, ang resulta ay yung given mong number. So, kaya halimbawa, yung given natin na square root of 16, by the way, this sign is not square root. <laughs> no, it's called a radical sign. Radical sign. Okay. At ang radicals natin, parang exponents, pwedeng maging 2 ito, pwedeng 3, 4, 5, pwede siyang maging square root, cube root, fourth root, fifth root. But since um start pa lang po tayo, or basics, we will focus with square root. No po? So, square root of 16. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, anong number daw yung multiply sa sarili para lumabas ang 16. So, if you answered 4, then you are correct. No po? So, 4 is the square root of 16. Ayan. So, another example, no? So, if we have square root of 9, no? What is the square root of 9? Ano daw yung number na multiply sa sarili para lumabas yung 9? So, your answer naman is 3. Okay? So, kapag naman square root of 169, Ano daw yung number na multiply sa sarili para lumabas yung 169? So, this one is equal to 13. 
So, we have here the list of perfect square numbers up to 15 squared. Okay. And, ibig sabihin, pag kinuha na natin ng square, uh, square root yung mga perfect squares na to, babalik tayo dyan sa uh, kanyang factor na po. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Okay? So, meron din tayong tinatawag na... Ayan, so ito, recap na lang po ng perfect squares natin last time. Ayan, no po, so meron din tayong tinatawag na radicand, no? So, isulat ko lang ng malaki dito. So, kagaya nung kanina, we have square root of 49, no? So, for, square root of 49 is 7, no? Wala ng exponent dito, ah. So, uh, um, 7 ang square root ng 49. We uh, have this sign as the uh, the radical sign. Okay, the smallest index or the smallest number that can be put here is 2. No, kasi 2 is the smallest root that we can get. Then, itong number naman sa loob, this one is called the radicand. So, take note nyo na lang po. This one is the radicand, this is the radical sign. And, although hindi na nakasulat dito, pero yung 2 na yon, this is red as square root. Kung 3 ito, this is red as cube root. No. So, itong 2 na ito is called the index. Okay? So, um, another thing that you should know about this one is that a square root will have 2 roots. Okay? So, ayan. So, kung ang given natin ay square root of ayan, 49... No, syempre alam natin na 7 yung factors niya, ba? 7 times 7. Pero aside from a positive 7, pwede ring maging 49 yung negative 7 times negative 7. ba? Tama naman, ba? 7 times 7, positive times positive is positive. Negative times negative is also positive. No po? So we have here... 7 as the positive or yung principal root na tinatawag. Principal root. Then, kapag naman po, we have here uh, the negative 1. Siyempre, negative square root naman ang tawag sa kanya. Okay. So, negative square root. Ayan. So, um... We will uh, make use of a certain symbol, no? Pagsasamahin natin yung idea ng positive at negative. No? Positive at negative. Then, sulat natin yung square root ng given na number. No? So, lalagyan lang natin siya ng positive-negative sa unahan. Okay. So, a square root is the opposite of squaring a number. No po? So, when you square 3, the result is 9. And when you get the square root of 9, the result is 3. No po? So, kumbaga, kapag nag square ka ng number, palaki siya. Kasi nag-multiply ka nun. Then, um, kapag naman nag-kumuha ka ng square root, syempre, liliit yung number no, kasi kukunin mo yung factor na i-multiply sa sarili to have the given number. So, kagaya nito. If we have here the term square of 4, ano kaya magiging answer natin? I-try nyo nga po. If you answered 16, then you are correct. Kasi yung phrase na square of 4, that is 4 squared or 4 times 4 which is equal to 16 pero paano kung ang nakalagay ay square root of 4 square root of 4 in symbols will be this one so if you answered positive negative 2 then you're correct na po so magkaiba yung idea this one is square of 4 this one is square root square root of 4 okay so magkaiba yung result ba?
Oh, i-try pa natin. How about the square of 9? Okay, so if you answered 81, then you are correct, no? So, bakit square of 9 is 9 squared or 9 times 9? 9 times 9 is 81. Square of 9, yan. But if you're given is... Ibalik ko pala yung slide. And square root. Kunyari, ito ay square of 9 to eh. Square of 9... That is 81. Pero kung ang tanong ay square root of 9, ano kaya ang magiging sagot dito? So, if you answered positive negative 3, then you are correct. Okay, so be careful po dun sa ating mga signs.